We're going to talk about you, the coming of the Messiah, and standing with the nation of Israel. I think everybody would admit we are close to the coming of the Messiah. But let me ask you a question. When the Messiah comes, does he come to his temple or does he come to his tabernacle? I'm about to give you ancient Jewish roots answer and it will change your life. We'll be right back. talk about Bible prophecy today. We're going to talk about standing with the nation of Israel. We're going to talk about the coming of the Messiah. We're going to talk about the difference between the tabernacle of David and the temple. Where will the Messiah rule and reign from? But before we get into that, I want to thank you. Tiz asked me, obviously, Tiz is not with me again today. She asked me, and I want to from my heart, thank you all so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your prayers, for not only her, but for Baby Lion. He's doing marvelous. And uh, hopefully Tiz will be back here real, real soon. She's uh, walking in the victory of God. So thank you for praying for her and all the amazing, uh, the amazing words you've uh, sent to us and called us and written to us. It, it means the world to us. And I, I just want to tell you, let, let me just say this. What we've gone through the last year with Lion and with Tiz has changed us. And so I know we say this all the time. We've been doing this for a lot of years. But if you have a prayer request, if you have a need, you know, the Bible says what Satan meant for evil, God will use it for good. All things work together for good. And, you know, when you're going through something like what we heard online, what we heard on Tiz, we're thinking, how can anything good come out of that? Well, we heard what the doctors said, and thank God for every doctor and every nurse. Pray for your doctor. Pray for your nurse, nurses. They, they, they're, they're miracle workers. But we've seen God do miracles, and through that, we know that no matter what you're going through, God can do something for you that no one has ever seen of before. Nothing is too hard for God. And so we would never want to go through something like this again, but through this we know that our God still is a God of miracles. All right, we want to talk about the coming of the Messiah. We want to talk about the, your part in these end times. Now, I started this off with what is the difference between... Sometimes when we talk about the coming of the Messiah, we talk about that he'll come to rule and reign at the temple. Sometimes we talk about he'll rule and reign at the tabernacle. What's the difference? Well, the temple, and eventually the Messiah will rule and reign for a thousand years on the temple mound, and God will rebuild the temple. But when you think about rebuilding the temple, that would take years and years and years to happen. What God really says, and this is what this is, this program this month is about, the prophecy of Amos is God will rebuild the tabernacle of David. Now, listen to what I'm about to tell you, because if you're watching today, in ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. You're watching today, God has picked you, handpicked you, to be part of this end time miracle through you and for you. Listen to Amos chapter 9, verse 11. On that day I will raise up the tabernacle of David, which has fallen down, and repair its damages. I will raise it up from its ruins, rebuild it as in the days of old, that they may possess the remnant of Edom, and all the Gentiles, there you are, who are called by my name, says the Lord who does this thing. Verse 13, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, 
when the plowman shall overtake the reaper, the treader of grapes, him who sows seed, the mountains shall drip with sweet wine, all the hills shall flow with it. I will bring back the captives of my people Israel. They shall build the waste cities, inhabit them. They shall plant the vineyards and drink wine from them. They shall also make the gardens eat fruit from them. I will plant them in the land and no longer shall they be pulled up from the land I have given them. Now, let me explain all of that. Right now, we are partnering. Uh, the world calls it the West Bank. God calls it Judea. And God gives an amazing prophecy. He said, right before the coming of the Messiah, the Jewish people will be scattered on the four corners of the earth. But God will do a miracle. He will bring them back to the land that he had given them, the land he gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all their descendants. He will bring them from the four corners of the earth, and that will be a sign of the rebuilding of the tabernacle of David. Now, eventually, on the Temple Mount, God will rebuild the temple. This thing is going to be elaborate. This thing is going to be huge. This thing is going to be beautiful. And the Messiah will rule and reign from that place. But here it doesn't say the temple. Here it says the tabernacle of David. Why is that important? Because that ties in with Ephesians chapter 2, where God speaks to you and I, and he says, I will tear down the wall between Jew and Gentile, and the two shall become one new man. In the tabernacle of David, there was no wall of division between Jew and Gentile. So God says, I'm going to do a miracle. I'm going to bring the Jews back to a land that was no land, that had no government, no language, no army, no people, and I'm going to bring them all back to the land. Everybody said it's impossible. That would never happen. But it happened in 1948 exactly the way God said it would happen. But here's the other part of the miracle. God said, I will rebuild the tabernacle of David. For 2,000 years, the devil has put a division, a dividing wall between Jew and Gentile. But God says, when I bring them back, that's the first sign. That's the first sign that I'm about to bring in a miracle of harvest of joy and healing and blessing and outpouring and finances. Here's the second sign. The Gentiles will be a part of it. Instead of being divided from our Jewish brothers and sisters, we will realize our eyes will be open and we'll realize we have been grafted in to the nation of Israel. And instead of being an enemy to the Jewish people, we will become partners. You're watching right now. Do you know this is the month of January? It's the, in physical months, it's the Avos. It's the, it's the birthing of all miracles God will bring you for the whole rest of the year. In the land of Israel, if they can show this picture, you see Ari standing there behind him. We've not only already for years we've been planting olive trees. We've been planting vineyards. We've been planting fruit trees, partnering with them, clearing the land. The desert is blooming. But you look behind and there is a plot right behind Ari that's ready to be planted. Your seed, your avos, your, your harvest, your seed for the harvest for the rest of the year is ready to be planted right now in fulfillment of Amos. Amos stood on that ground that you're looking at behind Ari. Amos stood on that ground and said in so many words that you and I would be talking on this day and we would be fulfilling Bible prophecy in tearing down the wall. All of a sudden, this is a miracle just in the last few years, folks, a miracle of Jews and Gentiles coming together exactly the way God said it would happen. And what happened when God saw that there were in the tabernacle of David, God saw there was no middle wall. 
He said, I don't need a holy of holies. I will come out and walk amongst my people. We're talking about signs, wonders, miracles. When God sees, now that's for the whole church, but in my life and in your life, when God sees you and I have torn down that wall between Jew and Gentile, in my life and in your life, God is going to walk amongst us with signs, wonders, and miracles, prosperity. You know, we, we were, we were we, you know, we buy uh, at least one ambulance every year for the nation of Israel, a, a, a mobile ICU unit that saves lives. We, were, we bought a couple years ago, last year maybe it was, we bought two, and we were dedicating it at the Jaffa Gate. And through that, we met the lady who's over the museum there at the Jaffa Gate, and she said something. I wasn't even planning on telling you this. She said she became good friends and, and, and showed us the inside of the museum there and the things that they're just now uncovering. And she said, you know something, Pastor Larry? During the time of Jesus... God's people walked in tremendous prosperity and favor. And man, I know that is, you know, listen, there's nothing more important than Tiz being healed and Lion being healed and you or your loved one being healed. But along with that, along with everything God does spiritually, he always brings signs and wonders and miracles. He always brings finances that go along. I just feel like somebody is, somebody, it, it, you're, you're ready for not only the miracles in your health, in your marriage, your home, but you're ready for the financial miracles. Just as this seed, as we send a seed to Israel to plant that prophetic land, God is getting ready to plant a seed in your life that's going to bring prophetic Miracles. Listen, we've got gifts for you. You know this. We have a Bible that we've written up. It's not only a guide that you and I can go through the Bible, the same scriptures every day for a year, but it's got, it, we take all the names of God and instead of just writing the Lord or God in there, we put the Hebrew names, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nissi, Jehovah Shalom. So when you're reading the scripture, you go, that's what that scripture means. And so this is a beautiful Bible. We've got the anointing oils for you. You know, I, I don't know if we'll show it this program, but we've been planting seed uh, with Ari and with Yossi in Judea, reclaiming that desert land, and the harvest has just started coming in. It's, it's an amazing. And one of the things is the fruit, but one of the things is the anointing oil. And many prophetic people say that the anointing oil for the Messiah will come from that land. So we have anointing oil. We have uh, a mezuzah, take my word, and put it on the doorpost of your house. We have an olive wood mezuzah or mezuzah for your, for your home. And we have a teaching in every place that we were list, uh, last time in Israel with our tour in Getty. Jaffa, Carmel, City of David, uh, the Garden Tomb, the Sea of Galilee, the Temple Steps. Uh, we have a DVD teaching in each one of these places. This is an amazing time. This is, this, is, this is the gateway to signs, wonders, and miracles. And God's picked you to be a part of it. I'll be right back. You have a unique opportunity to bless Israel and become a part of fulfilling biblical prophecy. Today, we're asking for your help by supporting our prophetic olive grove in Judea near the settlement of Maale Amos, home of the prophet Amos. This amazing project of planting another 1,000 olive trees is fulfillment of what Amos prophesied would come in the last days, when Jew and Gentile would stand together to fulfill God's plan for Israel and the Jewish people. If you've been wanting to make a statement in favor of Israel and its right to the land, this is is the perfect project. With your offering of any size today, in support of the Olive Grove Project, we want to say thank you by sending you Discovering Israel. This DVD will take you on an extraordinary journey through the Holy Land with Pastor Larry. He will teach you biblical secrets from important biblical sites, and his insights will unlock mysteries for your life, destiny, and future. 
Your gift of $125 is what it takes to plant one tree, cultivate the land, provide computerized irrigation, and support these incredible Jewish farmers. To show our thanks, we want to add this three-pack of anointing oils to use at home, in the hospital, or wherever the Lord leads you to pray for healing. The book of James declares, is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. With your gift of $375 or more, we'll plant three olive trees in your honor. And as you're learning, you will be fulfilling biblical prophecy and establishing God's promise that the land belongs to the Jewish people. To show our appreciation, we'll send you all of the resources mentioned and this extraordinary olive wood mezuzah. Handcrafted in Israel, this mezuzah features a glass enclosure for the scroll and the shin representing God's divine protection is proudly displayed on its surface. The mezuzah is a powerful weapon of our warfare you will want to have on the doorposts of your home. With your generous gift of $500 or more, we'll plant four olive saplings in the grove and we'll include this special edition, Names of God Bible, with more than 10,000 references to God restored to the original Hebrew meaning. This enhanced version of the scriptures will broaden your understanding of who God was and is in every situation in your life. Your offering today, large or small, will bless Israel and fulfill biblical prophecy. So please help us make a difference by supporting the Israel Olive Tree Project. You can visit our secure website at LarryHuck.tv or call one of our helpful operators right now at 800-978-8546. You can also send your gift in by mail to the address on the screen or for faster service, call our offices at 800-978-8546. 8546. Join with us right now and voice your support by sowing a generous gift today. And as you do, we know the Lord will bless you greatly. Now, let's rejoin Pastor Larry. You know, God's Word tells us, and we all know this, it says, don't worry about what you're going to eat or what you're going to wear or where you're going to live. That's what people who have no covenant worry about. But here's what I want you to do, God says. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Be a part of the kingdom of God. Serve God and his right. Look for places of righteousness. That word righteous in Hebrew means acts of kindness, acts of charity, doing the right thing. You know, every time we go to Israel, every day, every day when I get up, I pray and say, God, what do you want me to do today? Tell me where to be a blessing. I, do I want God to bless me? Yes. I want God to heal Lion. I want God to heal Tiz. I want God to heal you. I want God to bring us prosperity. But the way to do that is not to worry about that, but look for a place to be a blessing. That's how we found Josie and Ari out in what the world calls the West Bank, what God calls Judea. You're watching today because God is ready to bless you when you become a blessing. Listen to Ari. So when you uh, help us plant trees here, you're really joining us in this mission and you're becoming a part of it. And this is eternal. This is eternal. The return of the Jewish people to the land of Israel. The whole world may be trying to rip us out of this land. But right over my shoulder there is a village called the Heights of Amos, the Heights of Amos. In the last verses he says, V'shavti shvut amel, return the exiles of my people. And they will rebuild desolate cities and they will plant vineyards and drink their wine and they will plant gardens and eat their fruit. And I will plant them upon their land and they'll never be uprooted again. So it doesn't matter what any administration or any government or any forces in the world say about how they're gonna rip us out and rip the Jews out of Judea. When God says, I'm gonna plant them upon their land and they'll never be uprooted again, that's a promise you could take to the bank. That is a promise that you can rely on. You know, I, I, I know you know this, but let me share with you that this is more than planting olive trees or planting vineyards. And, 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 you know, as important as that is, right in the land that Mo, uh, uh, Amos said would happen, that, that Gentiles would do this. I mean, that's, you can't make this stuff up. It's more than, yes, the, uh, the olive oil uh, probably will be used in the temple or the tabernacle of David for anointing. 
I, I have no doubt that's going to happen, but it's more than land. It's more than olive oil. It's more than olives. It's more than trees. It's a fulfillment. You are causing the Messiah to return. The, you know, there was a great rabbi, Rabbi Schneerson, that said years ago, right before he passed away, he said, the Messiah is ready to come. But before he comes, one thing has to happen. The eyes of the Gentiles will be open. By you sending a seed and us taking that seed to the nation of Israel, to what the world is trying to call the West Bank. Show me the West Bank in here, but I'll show you Judea and Samaria and Israel. You know, when people are battling about the land of Israel and dividing the land of Israel and dividing Jerusalem, just let me just give you one, let me give you one little nugget to help with tearing down the walls that divide Jew and Gentiles. How many times do you think, because right now, you know, as you're watching this, I'll have already been there and back. I'm going in two days to speak to 40-something nations around the world about standing with Israel. Let me ask you something. When people say, well, let's give half, another half of Israel away or let's get half of Jerusalem. How many times do you think Jerusalem is named in the Quran? How, how, how many times would you say Jerusalem is named in, in the Quran? Can I tell you? Zero. If it's always been that important, you would think it would be named once. How many times is it named in the Jewish Bible? Not, not the New Testament, in the Jewish Bible. 821 times. So when you say, I am sending this seed, I'm, I'm going to plant trees and we're going to get olive oil and we're going to get olives and we're going to get wine exactly the way the prophet Amos said. It's even bigger than that because what you're saying is I am doing my part in fulfilling Bible prophecy of tearing down that wall between Jew and between Gentile, and I am saying to the nation of Israel and I am saying to the Jewish world, I want to be a blessing to you. And what does God say? He said, when I see that wall between Jew and Gentile come down, the rebuilding, listen what Amos says, not the temple. The temple's coming, but the temple will take years to build. The tabernacle is just an open air. It's open. Friends of mine at the city of David took us and they said, here's the pilgrimage road. We've been on there many times. You've seen it many times. 100%, that's the pilgrimage road. But he said, come here, pastor, let me show you something. Took us over to the other side of the city of David, right next to David's palace. And he said, We're, we can't say 100%, but we believe this is the tabernacle of David. There's no holy of holies. There's an altar. There's a place to prayer. Then it goes open air down to the Gion Springs, which flows down to the Pool of Siloam, which brings up to the pilgrimage road. Is it a coincidence that we found the pilgrimage road leading up to the temple steps? Is it a coincidence that maybe we, maybe probably we found the original tabernacle of David and we see there's no middle wall. When God saw the tabernacle of David with no middle wall, he said, let me out amongst my people. And 24-7, signs, wonders, miracles. When you make your stand, I'm, I'm giving you a prophetic word right here. When you say, Pastor Larry, take this to the nation of Israel. Let the people of Israel know we're standing with them. We are we're doing our part to tear down that wall. For my, me and my family and for you and your family, God, is, we, we call it the latter rain. God is coming out from behind the veil and he's going to walk with signs and wonders and miracles, divine prosperity on your life, divine health on your life, divine joy on your life, divine peace on your life. You and your family, I release the anointing on your sons and on your daughters, on your grandsons and your granddaughters, on your business, on your home, on your marriage. Miracle Somebody, miracle restoration in families, miracle restoration of your health in your body, miracles, signs, wonders, and miracles as we tear down 
the wall that divides, and we say to Israel and the nation of Israel and the people of Israel, we are one with you. Tis, I've got to go. Tis what said, don't leave any program until I say, thank you for praying for her and know that she and I are praying for you. We love you so much. I got to go. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye. You have a unique opportunity to bless Israel and become a part of fulfilling biblical prophecy. Today, we're asking for your help by supporting our prophetic olive grove in Judea near the settlement of Ma'ale Amos, home of the prophet Amos. This amazing project of planting another 1,000 olive trees is fulfillment of what Amos prophesied would come in the last days, when Jew and Gentile would stand together to fulfill God's plan for Israel and the Jewish people. If you've been wanting to make a statement in favor of Israel and its right to the land, this is is the perfect project. With your offering of any size today, in support of the Olive Grove Project, we want to say thank you by sending you Discovering Israel. This DVD will take you on an extraordinary journey through the Holy Land with Pastor Larry. He will teach you biblical secrets from important biblical sites, and his insights will unlock mysteries for your life, destiny, and future. Your gift of $125 is what it takes to plant one tree, cultivate the land, provide computerized irrigation, and support these incredible Jewish farmers. To show our thanks, we want to add this three-pack of anointing oils to use at home, in the hospital, or wherever the Lord leads you to pray for healing. The book of James declares, is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Lord. With your gift of $375 or more, we'll plant three olive trees in your honor. And as you're learning, you will be fulfilling biblical prophecy and establishing God's promise that the land belongs to the Jewish people. To show our appreciation, we'll send you all of the resources mentioned and this extraordinary olive wood mezuzah. Handcrafted in Israel, this mezuzah features a glass enclosure for the scroll and the shin representing God's divine protection protection is proudly displayed on its surface. The mezuzah is a powerful weapon of our warfare you will want to have on the doorposts of your home. With your generous gift of $500 or more, we'll plant four olive saplings in the grove and we'll include this special edition, Names of God Bible, with more than 10,000 references to God restored to the original Hebrew meaning. This enhanced version of the scriptures will broaden your understanding of who God was and is in every situation in your life. Your offering today, large or small, will bless Israel and fulfill biblical prophecy. So please help us make a difference by supporting the Israel Olive Tree Project. You can visit our secure website at LarryHuck.tv or call one of our helpful operators right now at 800 978 8546. You can also send your gift in by mail to the address on the screen or for faster service, call our offices at 800-978-8546. Join with us right now and voice your support by sowing a generous gift today. And as you do, we know the Lord will bless you greatly.